Hi there. So have you ever got this error on Safari browser where it says Safari cannot open the page because this address is invalid? If you ever encountered these problems, then today's video, I'll show you exactly how you can solve the problems on your iPhone. Now, without wasting any more time, let's go. The very first work that you really want to double check is a URL that you're trying to get an access to. So just simply make sure to just clear out your software browser from the you know app switcher. So make sure to clean this up here, reopen your just reopen your Safari browser here. And here, all you gotta do just retype the URL again. Okay, and make sure everything is, uh, you know, correct. If you even miss out any word or letter, it might give you the same error. It doesn't matter how many times you're going to try. Okay, so once you see, well, you are putting the right domain name, but still it gives you the same error. Then the next thing that you have to do, you got to just clear out some of the things from your browser itself. In that case, you got to head over to your settings. And once you open that up here, scroll down to the bottom, select apps, and here you need to type Safari here. Uh, select that. And now you have to scroll down and first of all, scroll all the way to the advanced, select that, tap website data. And here, select remove all website data, tap remove now. After that, you wanna go back here and then you want to just simply you want to also make sure that you're clearing everything from your browser as well so tap clear history and website data make sure to select all history clear history data here and now there are a few settings that you guys really want to turn on on your software browsers so come to your browser again and here you got to come back to the bottom and go to advanced and here make sure you're actually disabling the block all cookies sometimes if you're enabling these features on your iphone it might block certain websites so you can disable that and make sure you're also you know turning off the tracking sometime if the website is not so stable you might get encounter or you might encounter the same problems just go ahead and do it here and now just get out of here restart your iphone and try to just you know um try to visit to the website and see if that works or not now mostly your problem is going to be solved however if you still have problems the next things we're going to take a look at is the restrictions so if you go to your settings here scroll down to your screen time and you got to scroll down to the content and privacy restrictions here so make sure you're actually uh turning off the content and privacy restrictions sometime if you are you know uh, setting a restriction for a certain website and if you enable these features and try to access the website from your software browser this might can block the connection so turning off these features will help now after that your problem is going to be solved but still if you have any problem whatsoever with your software browser please do let me know in the comment section to get further help see you all around